we will now learn about the argument of a complex plane. Argument means the angle that is created with the positive x-axis. Now, you can see over here, this is the angle theta, right? With the real axis or x-axis, that is the argument, okay? So, the argument of a complex plane is always the angle theta. Now, it is very crucial for us to know to convert complex numbers to polar form. How do we do that? It's very simple. Generally, the form of a complex number is given as a plus bi. We have studied that already. We had seen a um, few problems already. Now, z is equal to a plus bi. This needs to be written in complex form. In complex form, the, the formula for a is, sorry, in polar form, okay? This is the complex number. We need to write this in polar form. The formula for A is basically R cos theta and B is R sin theta. So it is R cos theta plus B is R sin theta, okay? Then I remains over here. So what happens? R and R is same. So R can be removed out common. And what do we get? Cos theta plus I sin theta. So this is the standard form which we write generally. But remember, this is how we get it. But we don't write all these steps. We just take Z is equal to R cos theta plus I sin theta as the polar form. And you can see the formula over here. A is R cos theta. B is R sin theta. Now, this is fine. This is not generally used only to find this. What are the few important things? R value. How do we find R value? It's basically the modulus, the distance, the radius, right? It's use the modulus. That's it. R is square root of A square plus B square. We have solved problems on modulus. Same concept. But only new concept over here will be theta. Okay, obviously this is new, polar form is new altogether, but the formula theta is, the argument is new. That is, we have done this in the previous lessons, tan inverse B by A. Always remember, it varies. Sometimes it will be only this much, sometimes you will have to add pi or 180 degrees. So when do we add pi? So what happens is, if the given val value of A is positive if a is positive it will be in this axis right sorry it will be the right side then it is this is it this is the formula okay theta is tan inverse b by a but if it goes to the other side then you need to add pi uh that is 180 degree to the formula whenever a is greater than zero that means positive this is the formula if it's negative that's less than zero then this is the formula let us solve a couple of problems. You'll understand how easy and simple it is. Here we have a complex number. We need to express it in polar form. Minus 6 plus 8i. So the first thing is write the a and b values. a is minus 6, b is 8. Okay. Next, find the absolute value. That is radius, r value. So r is equal to square root of a square plus b square. We have done this already. Let's substitute the values. Please use brackets when it's negative numbers. So when your brackets are used and put it in the calculator, you will get the answer. Square root 100, that is 10. Okay, R is found out. What next? Now we need to find the angle. That is the argument or the angle theta. Now, which formula do we use? It's minus over here. So remember to add pi. It is tan inverse b by a, that is uh, b by a plus pi because it's negative, a is negative. Now over here you need to substitute the values and solve. Now there is one important thing which I now remember to tell you about the radian mode and the degree mode. See till now we always use the default mode of our calculator, that is c degree. Now I will solve this in degree. So, tan inverse b is 8 divided by a is minus 6 and close the bracket. I, I cannot put pi. I need to put 180 degree. But let me put pi now. Shift and this symbol. 
I won't get the correct answer. Okay, why? Because we need to solve it in terms of uh, degree, deg uh, sorry, radians, in terms of radian, okay, not in degree. Now, why I'm uh, avoiding degree over here is generally in your exam, your answers for this lesson will be in radian modes. It won't be in degree. So if you do degree, then again, you need to convert it back. You'll get in terms of pi, then multiply the pi and all that. I will show in this problem, even if you do it in degrees, you will get the same answer. But for now, I will tell you the radian method. This is very important. You need to just substitute all the values as it is, but you won't get the correct answer until and unless you change the mode to radian. That is by pressing shift mode and press the number four. And now you can see R sign pops up. That means it is in radians. Now your answer is theta equals 2.21. That is the answer. That is the theta. So in the polar form, that is R of cos theta plus I sine theta. All you need to do is R value is 10. Substitute over here. Cos theta is 2.21 and over here sine 2.21. That is the answer. So this is the, sorry, let me go back. This is the answer for the uh, polar form for this complex number. Now, I had told you about degree mode, a degree itself before. And let me go back to the degree that is mode 53 or if you clear your calculator you'll be in degrees you must use 180 degrees okay you must use 180 degrees now what happens is this is in degrees you need to divide 180 okay now this is the radian mode but now remember whatever you get over here is in terms of pi that is 0.704 uh, let me write 0, 5. It's in terms of pi, that much pi, you know. So this is the theta in radians. Okay, when you convert, remember when you divide, you must always keep this pi over here. Now, if you're solving this, you need to put 0 0.70, or you can just take the answer, anyways. Shift pi, and you should press this symbol SD, and now you will get the same answer. So this is a big procedure, right? First, you need to write in degrees, all that. So to avoid this, I'll repeat again. The simplest method would be write the formula, write the substitutions, and feed it in your calculator. That is shift tan 8 divided by negative 6. Close the bracket, and it's plus pi. Don't put in 180. Keep it in pi, okay? Plus pi. And now change the mode. Shift mode 4. It comes in radians, and this is your answer. That's it. You don't need to do any step further. Even if you do degree, you will get it, but it's a long procedure. So this is the easier method. I hope this is clear. If you have confusion, just go back in the video and watch it again. Okay. We will do one more problem. You'll be clear. Now, please pause the video for this problem and do it by yourself. I hope some of you at least tried it by pausing the video. Now let us solve this over here. Most important thing is R and theta. That's it. So A value is 9. B value is 7. And look over here. Absolute value is square root of A square plus B square. So it's direct substitution. Put it in the calculator. You'll get the answer. Now what next? That is the angle theta. So remember over here the a value is positive so there is no pi. See this pi extra was there. Why? Because a was negative in the last problem. In this it is positive. So no pi. It is just b by a. Let us do this. Tan inverse b by a. What is b value? b is up and then a is down. Solve it up. The answer is 0 0.661. So just in the calculator, but make sure if your calculator is not in radians, mine is already in radians, it's not going to give you a correct answer if it's not in radians. I will just show you the default mode would be in degrees. This is how your calculator would be. Now, if I solve it, look, this is in degrees. I don't want it in degrees. I need it in radians. So shift, uh, put it in four and you're going to get the answer. So now in the polar form always it's written in radians so it's r is 11.4 and over here we have 
cos 0 0.66 that is in radians so that's the answer this is the polar form and now we will quickly see one last problem uh, in this topic that is graph and convert polar form of a complex number now over here they have given a polar form we need to write it in the rectangular form that is just the regular form which we get right so how do we do it this is very easy so uh, see what is r what is theta this is important but now to so uh, this is only to draw the graph if you want a polar graph this is you know it's not okay they have asked you to graph if it's not asked, generally, if they ask you only rectangular form, this method is not required. This also is not required. It's direct method. But for now, they have asked you to graph. That's why R and theta is important. In the previous lessons, we have done this many, many times. But just the only thing over here is X is the real axis. Y is the imaginary axis. What next to do? This R is 3 and this pi by uh, 6 is the angle so this is the point okay now we need to convert into rectangular form it's very simple because all you need to do is solve it up take out your calculator what is this cos pi shift and over here the symbol pi by 6 it's in radian mode so you don't need to change anything only if it is in degree you need to make this 180 degree now it's in radian so it's fine use pi as it is using shift and the symbol over here and you're going to get the answer root 3 by 2 same thing do it for sine take this put sine okay i'll just close the bracket over here now it's 1 by 2 so cos is cos pi by 6 is root 3 by 2 sine pi by 6 is half now what you must do is multiply 3 inside when you multiply 3 inside you'll get 3 root 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2i. So that is the answer. The rectangular form of this particular complex number which is given in polar form is 3 root 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2i. These both are equivalent. This is the polar form. This is the complex form.